As we know, there's, there's good news happening in Queensland with the rollout of the vaccine, and it's wonderful to see both the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca are being rolled out, especially to our frontline health workers and our frontline quarantine workers. Yeah. But, Mr Speaker, there does remain um, a big issue and an area of risk for Queenslanders, and that is with these highly infectious strains that we are seeing, our hotel quarantine is our last line of defence. You would have heard me in this House say that time and time again. But what we are seeing now are more and more presentations of people testing positive in hotel quarantine. With five overnight, I think there were seven on the weekend, and, and that, of course, increases the number of people that we have in hospitals. That, it, that also increases the risk, not just onto our hotel quarantine workers, but also on the community. Now, Mr Speaker, I have been um, very clear about my desire uh, to have a regional quarantine facility uh, in Queensland, Mr Speaker. We have had uh, several discussions uh, with the federal government. There have been meetings with the federal government, but we just need a simple answer from Canberra. And that simple question is, do they want regional quarantine facility or not? Yes or no? Uh, Mr Speaker, I want, to, I want to commend John Wagner, a fantastic yeah, yeah, yeah. entrepreneur in the Toowoomba region, Mr Speaker, because the regional quarantine would be safe because it would be just adjacent to the airport, Mr Speaker. The staff, the staff would be located there as well, Mr Speaker. And what we have seen is uh, how, we've seen how successful the Howard Springs uh, quarantine facility is. So, Mr Speaker, we want a simple answer out of Canberra, yes or no. Right. Now, what is the threshold right. issue? The threshold issue is, are, are Order, members going to be able to land in Wellcamp? That is the threshold issue. That is the threshold issue for the federal government. And we still don't have an answer from Canberra. And, Mr Speaker, I raised it again at National Cabinet. Uh, John Wagner has also provided all of the information that is needed to the federal government. So we just need to know, do they want to work with us on, on this or not? A yes or a no. Um, no more uh, shifting blame. You either want it or you don't. But, Mr Speaker, let me say this. Between now and the end of October, until the vaccine is rolled out, we are still in a high-risk situation. We're seeing more contagious uh, viruses Member for around the world, especially the UK strain, the South African strain and the South American strain. And we are seeing uh, more positives coming from Papua New Guinea, where unfortunately the virus is now taking hold in that community.